Wow. This is very impressive. <laughs> My mom doesn't use it much since the accident, so she let me take it. You drove back from California? A lot of thinking to do. Driving helps. Yeah, I get it. Um, listen, I had sort of an abstract computer question. I was wondering if you could help me out with it. What's the question? Well, I was wondering what's the best way to get around really tough password protection? That's about as abstract as a brick wall. Yeah, okay. Maybe we are talking about a real password. Maybe. There's a particular site that I cannot get onto. Whose site is it? If it is real, I have no idea how Mona got it. But if it's fake, it's an insanely cruel thing to do to Emily. Now, I know that we've asked you to do something like this before, so I get it if you don't want No, I'll do it. Like, whatever happened, Hannah's important to me. So if I have a chance to crush the Mona monster, I'm in. After school? Yeah, after school. I'm usually pretty good figuring out passwords. That's because most people don't want good passwords. They want passwords they can remember. Passwords keep you from going in the front door. I like to look for an open window, something that allows you to get into the system and unlock things from the other side. Like a burglar. That's the idea. It's a nice machine. Hey, folks? My mom. Hmm. New car? New computer? She just lent me the car. Okay, she didn't lend you that sweater. No, it's a rental. What? Do you just want me to admit that my mom bought me new clothes? That is not just clothing, okay? That is $400 worth of sweater you have there. So I should probably wash it on gentle then, right? No, you should dry clean it. If you wash this, she will end up with a sweater for a shih tzu. No, I have never been a dry cleaning kind of guy. That was then, and this is now. These are so deadly. I think I've had my carb allotment for like this century. Put the pretzel down and cross your fingers. We're in. You're kidding. But at my back, I always hear time's winged chariot hurrying near. Andy Marvel, what a marvel. <laughs> talking to his coy mistress about how they shouldn't waste any time. Like, you're doing listening to me. Oh my god, I cannot believe that you got us in! <laughs> <gasps> this is where I'm going to put things to keep from losing them. I'm always losing things. So this really is my sight? Yeah, it is. If you're looking at me, beware. This site is cursed. <laughs> Kayla! Oh my god! Hang on, hang on, hang on! Caleb! Oh my god! Oh my god, what happened? Caleb! Oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? Did the door shut by accident? I don't know. Well, where's the knife? Is it in there? Well, I've got some bolt cutters in my car. I like to be prepared. They won't work on that. It's a shrouded lock. Hard to cut, even harder to pick. Spencer? Mrs. Horowitz, hey. You look familiar. Did you transfer out of my third period last semester? Mm, no, I wasn't in your class. Probably just saw me in the halls. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Uh, my friend just got an apartment, and so we're just getting some things out of storage for him. Are you here often? Every month or so, why? Well, I guess this really isn't the kind of place where you get to know your neighbors. 
You're talking about 1017, aren't you? That smell, am I right? Smell? Oh, yeah, there's some sort of an odor. It wafts down the hallway sometimes. I think it's coming from that unit. Have you ever spoken to the renter? Oh, about a month or so. There was a girl, blonde. Hey, if it starts to smell again, you think you could say something to the manager? Sure, yeah. Do what does the blonde girl look like, just in case I spot her? I tried to stop her, but she was in a hurry. I didn't get to see her face. Yeah. Not that management would care anyway. You know, right. they want to do something about that. It's really unsanitary. Yeah, absolutely. Hey. Bye, Mrs. Horowitz. See you in school. Is she coming back? No, I don't think so. Where did you go? I made a shim out of your teacher's soda can. We're gonna use it to pick the lock. I thought you said that you can't pick that lock. Not that lock. Her lock. You sure you wiped down everything? Only things I touched were the light switch and the air duct covers. I think we're good. What if we left hair, fibers, skin cells? I think you're being paranoid. Possibly if I were being excessively or unreasonably anxious, according to Merriam-Webster, but there's nothing unreasonable or excessive about wanting to keep us all out of jail. I'm being meticulous. Actually, you're being a thesaurus, but I appreciate your attention to detail. Done. Security footage is wiped. No sign that we were ever there. And no sign of that blonde or Holbrook. We need to figure out a way to tie Holbrook into that storage space without getting tied up into it ourselves. We, uh, we could always call Toby. Tip him off. Let the cops find out what was in that barrel. Opening that barrel would have just been playing into Holbrook's hands. Besides, I really don't want to risk Toby's job. When we have proof that that's where Holbrook does Allie's dirty work, then we'll have something to turn in. What about the lease? Could you maybe get into their records, find a renter's agreement with a name? Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Okay. Hey, um... I really should have gone after that knife on my own. If it makes you feel any better, Toby's not really talking to me either. He's talking to me. It's just not really much to say. Spence. I'll call you guys later. Okay. I should have put Hannah in a car and taken off when I had the chance. Why didn't you? She would never leave you and Ari and M. You guys are like a band of Vikings. Well, less pillaging, better hygiene. She told me to get out before it got too late. She said it to me, but I think that she meant it for all of us. Do you have any idea how hard that must have been for her to say that to you? The point is she said it. You thinking about it? No. You know, when all of this is over and we're safe and sound, I need to talk about bottling you. Essence of best boyfriend, we're gonna make a fortune. Have you talked to Toby since you got back? That's not really a good idea, under the circumstances. Finish your cookie. How was it? Complicated. Yeah. That's why I wanted to stay down here. Thanks for calling me. I appreciate it. I'm really glad that you're here. It's, uh, it's kind of strange what they did to this place, huh? Yeah. I think it's like cultural amnesia. Yeah, well, people get do-overs. Why shouldn't buildings? Spence, stop worrying about the paper. You gotta let it go. Are you sure you're okay sleeping on the couch again? Yeah, totally. It's a lot more comfortable than those hostel beds in Europe. 
Can you believe that it's been three years since we were in Madrid? That's crazy. I don't think I'm ever gonna forgive you for dragging me to that awful bullfight. Come on, it was not that awful. It, it was awful when you started screaming savages at the drunk crowd. It was terrible from the beginning. That's why I was screaming. <laughs> it was awful. Okay. You made me cry. I didn't make well, you do anything. You could stop me from crying in a street. You were this. you were pretty livid. <laughs> it was not okay. But hey, I redeemed myself when I snuck us into Retiro Park with a couple bottles of sangria. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Oh my God, that was the most beautiful sunrise. Yeah. That was my best night in Europe. Mine too, hands down. Yeah. Uh, hey, your mom asked me to stick around and help with the campaign. That's a great idea. Let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Hey. Hey. How'd it go? Not good. They asked me to lie. They don't want you to lie. Okay, they want me to use a non-denial denial. So, lying. Yeah. If you can avoid addressing certain things, you should. No, don't take off your shoes. We have to be at Hollis in 30 minutes. What is this Hollis thing? Gil asked me to post about it. We're registering college kids to vote to try to reverse the political apathy of our youth. That's a noble. It's really not. It's a photo op for the candidate's children. We're starving. Okay, well, I'll make you some eggs. Uh, do you want some toast? Oh my god, please. Burnt? That's the only way I make it. I'm gonna go steal some stuff from the campaign headquarters. Mm. <laughs> You were given an impossible choice. Yeah, I know, that's, that's what I always try to tell myself, but what if that's not true? What if all of those years of being stalked and tortured, what if that hardened me? Like maybe it happened so slowly that I don't even know that it was happening. Hey, listen to me. You are a good person. <laughs> yes, you are. You, you wear your heart on your sleeve. It just happens to be the sleeve of a flak jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not judging me. I just wish you hadn't judged yourself. There's, um, there's something else that I've been judging myself for.
spent all this time trying to play now. I fought my way here. See, I've been having me a real hard time, but it feels so nice to know I'm gonna be alright. So I just kept dreaming. Yeah, I just kept dreaming. Hey. Hey. Thanks for making the coffee this morning. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to run to a breakfast meeting and then all of this. You didn't sneak out because of... No. God, no. Last night was perfect. Did you know that 89% of all young voters from recently surveyed said that the recent economic slump has forced them to put their life plans on hold? Gil, what's up? This was updated this morning. It's everything you'd want to know about the Phillips family and then some. I will eat, live, and breathe this. Thank you, Gil. Ugh, that is a thick file. Yeah. Hey, candidate Phillips. She had the commencement speech at Wesleyan before earning her JD at Georgetown. Her favorite ice cream is actually sorbet. Mm. And she often binges on candy corn while on the campaign trail. Oh, candy corn? It's a serious sugar addiction. Yeah. And here's the recon on her family. I mean, we have to assume that they know as much about us as we know about them. I know it's a little awkward. Considering. Yeah, well, you said Yvonne was nice, right? Yeah, yeah, we've only hung out a couple times, but she seems okay. Cool. Well, if I didn't think this town was small when I left, it certainly is now. Hey, um, I was uh, thinking about taking a drive to see Toby. Um, yeah, I'm cool with that. So since we, uh, I, should I get my own place? Is that what you want? Is that what you want? Look, I just need you to promise me one thing. Okay. I will always get the first cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> Spencer? I promise I will not come between you and your relationship with caffeine. Thank you. Let me go right up at this next intersection. Why was it so easy to track down that signal? You know, it's like, why build a firewall if it's so easy to break down? I was just hoping you were going to tell me all these texts were coming from the Radley. Mm, so we could break into Sarah's room and kick her ass together? You know what they say, a couple of kicks ass together. That was an attempt at a non-sarcastic joke. Didn't, didn't quite make it. <laughs> hey, um, I actually, I wanted to ask you something. Already? Why did you delete that text about Toby? You saw it. Spencer, I'm a professional. It's kind of what I do. I don't know, I just, this was new and I didn't want it to get complicated. I just wanted things to stay new and easy. get used to this. Honestly, <clears throat> I just wanted to uh, make sure you were fully awake. For what? I think that we need to go to the cops with these new texts. I'm awake. I mean, if we really are back at square one with A. Mm -mm. We don't know for sure that this is an A. I don't know, that trash can full of black hoodies, it felt like somebody was saying all the rules are changed. And all we know for sure is that this A isn't Charlotte. They could be anybody, 
anywhere, hiding in plain sight. As in Sarah Harvey? I mean, do you really think that it's her hiding behind all those evil emojis? I don't know, she can't really type that well. Maybe a picture is easier for her to send. I'm starving. Do we have anything? Yeah, I got a little something. You want a refill? Yes, please. Hey, what about Ezra? Couldn't he clear this up? Has anybody heard from him? No, my guess is that he left town to avoid telling us what he knows. I mean, I'm not even saying we need to build an airtight case. We could just go to Toby. No. Caleb, he's finally happy. He's moved on. I really don't want to throw this in his path. At least not until we have something more than a few snarky emojis from an unlisted number and a photo of an alleged murder weapon. I guess you're right. I mean, we're talking about Arya's dad. You know, it's like if he did this, he did it to protect her. If we were to get this golf club, Sarah couldn't hold it over our heads. And then we really could go to the cops about her. It's, it's a calendar alert. I have lunch with Gil. I really don't remember scheduling that. Oh my God, this election is totally eating up my brain. Oh my God, I have endless emails. And then I have that strategy session this afternoon and I have to make those campaign calls. Yeah, I've been pretty distracted the last few days too. I might be slightly distracted. Hmm. This is this distracting you? Hmm. No. No, I can probably just get a few emails done if you want to continue. Yeah. a hole in the hotel. What, you what? A hole in the wall in Sarah's closet in her room at the Radley. That's how she's been coming and going all this time without walking in front of those pesky cameras hold, in the lobby. Hold on, hold on, okay? I've been working with the data from Yvonne's cell phone. You found something? It was buried deep in the server. I looked, but I didn't touch. What is it? It's the opposition research file on your mom. These are my mom's medical records. How do they have these? Look at the corners, the folds. This isn't a scan. Somebody photographed this with a phone. This is not research. This is an invasion of privacy. I, this is exactly what's wrong with American politics. This is completely Spencer. illegal and- Spencer. Did you know your mom was sick? Yeah. Um. She was. She was a long time ago. You better look. Breast conserving surgery. Blood panels clear. Prognosis cautiously optimistic. This report is dated eight months ago. My guess is that the Phillips campaign is going to leak this. They're going to... Make it seem like your mom has been keeping it a secret and that she's not healthy enough to serve. She never told me anything about this. Hey. Hey. You know, I was thinking, maybe the other side won't use it. Maybe they'll have an attack of conscience and uh, take the high road. Well, there's never any traffic up there. Mm. How's your mom? She's tired, but she's happy. She's really happy. How about you? You need anything? Get a glass, because your girlfriend's drinking all by herself and it's real sad. <laughs> <laughs> that I can do. Help. 
Hey, are you tired? Um, no, I shot past tired a long time ago. Well, we should probably get some sleep while we can. Yeah, I just have to finish this up for my mom. Turns out there's way more paperwork when you win instead of lose. I'm really glad that Hannah's safe. We all are. It was so dangerous, I should have stopped her. You know, Hannah's like an aircraft carrier. A lot of firepower, but pretty difficult to maneuver. Yeah, well, I guess they call ships she for a reason, huh? Stock. Mm. Yes, it is. That's the occasion. I got fired. What? By text. You have abused the generosity of this organization and chosen to pursue partisan interests over the greater good. Well, they're wrong. No, they're not. I have been rather distracted lately. I'm so sorry. Thanks. What are you gonna do now? I don't know, I'm... Stay with my mom's transition team. Maybe go with her to Harrisburg, if I can. What would be stopping you? This town has its own particular gravity. We both know that. How's Hannah? I haven't talked to her. Emily said she got a text that she was going to New York. I guess she wanted to see Jordan. I'm afraid to ask you this, but I really have to. Did we make a mistake? You and I? No. No, we didn't. Whatever we did, it wasn't a mistake. It, it was real. So why are you talking about it in the past tense? Hey, where have you been? Uh, Toby's. He and Yvonne got engaged. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's great. I'm glad they were able to work through their issues. Yeah, me too. You know, just knowing how happy they are, it got me thinking about us. Because I've wanted this, Caleb, for a really long time. So have I. And it's been great, but... You know, everything changed once Hannah disappeared. Well, I promised to keep her safe. So I felt responsible. Yeah, but she's back now. And you still seem distant. So I keep on asking myself why. You two were alone together that night. Did something happen? She, she was scared. I, I was comforting her. That's not what I'm asking. We kissed. 
old memories got stirred up. It was like we were in a time warp back in high school. Okay, but, but we're not in high school, you know? And, and Hannah's not your girlfriend, I am. I know, I know. Look, I can handle a kiss, but is that all it was? Or do you still have feelings for her? Hey. Hi. You've been in here a while. Yeah, I'm um, just trying to figure out what these medications do. I really think we need to talk about what happened this morning. We will, later. Come on, Spence. Look, I get it, okay? You're confused. No. No, I'm not. Look. There's a part of me that will always love Hannah, okay? She was my first real love. But it's you I want to be with. And if Hannah wanted to be with you now, would that change things? No. Do you mean that, or do you just feel obligated to say it? Seriously? Look, after that time we spent together in Madrid, I couldn't stop thinking about you. And then we met up again in DC, and the more time we spent together, the more I wanted to be with you. I know. Me too. I like everything about you. Okay, you're smart and you're driven. You're sexy as hell. Yeah, but that's a problem. You like me. But I love you. And I, I want to be with somebody who thinks about me the first thing in the morning and the, the last thing at night. Look, I think this just got really off track. Okay? Just. Please give me a chance to make it, to make it right. I really want this to work. I don't know that I can. Spencer? Spencer? Spencer, I know you're in there. If I have to break open a window just to make sure you're okay, I swear to God, no, I... No, no, I'm... I'm here. Can you let me in, please? I can't really do this right now. Well, I, I want to talk to you. Come on, Spence, this is stupid. Can, can I just call you tomorrow? I'll call you first thing in the morning. No, no, I... no, wait, wait. Look, I'm an idiot, okay? Everything came out wrong earlier. The... What happened with Hannah, it was like this, this wound that I had worked so hard to heal. Okay, Caleb, I really can't again, hear this right now, It was, right now, it was confusing, but that's all it was. It was a moment I'm of confusion. I'm begging you, just leave. Okay, remember my first summer in DC? You and I just started hanging out a lot, and this one night we met for a beer. Well, I, I had gotten a job offer in San Francisco, but we were having such a good time that I decided to wait to tell you I was moving until after our drink. But then you noticed that they were playing Bringing Up Baby at the New Waverly. Do you remember? Afterward, I walked you to your apartment so I could tell you about my job. But there was this violinist playing on Kenyon, so we sat in this stoop for a minute to listen. And I thought, why ruin the moment? 
when we finally got to your door, I started to tell you about my job, but you were distracted looking for your keys. And I couldn't stop staring at that little cleft in your chin, thinking about how I wanted to trace it with my finger and kiss you. So I never told you about the job, and I called them the next day, and I told them that I didn't want it. Do you remember that night? Yeah. Of course I remember that night. That was one of the best... Can you please just open the door so we can talk? I really want to. Maybe you should. Please don't. Do you need to take that? No. That's all right. I'm so sorry, Spencer. You were right. I am confused. I never meant. I know. Look, we both made mistakes. And I'm not saying that it's okay. But I really don't regret trying. You don't? When Toby and I broke up, I didn't date anyone for a really, really long time. Nothing serious anyways, you know, it's just nothing ever stuck. Nothing ever measured up. It was like my, my heart had just stopped. And I felt that way for a really long time. Until you. No, it's good. I'm saying it's a good thing, okay? Because I, I hurt. <laughs> Believe me, I hurt. But I, I got to remember what it felt like to be in love again.